<laughs> Aftershock? Oh, sweetie, we need to continue working on your awkward bungling. I've been working on my sleep giggles, too. Perfect. Perfect. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, that smell. From over there. Yes, yes. What do we have here? Agatha, would you like oh, to... interrupt? It's rude. Whatever you say, slimy cucumber. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Looks like another princess is turned up party. P the pr princess? Long flowing gown. Are you skin with rose colored cheeks? An elaborate headdress and. Wait. Oh, the scent of lavender. I recognize a princess when I see one. Welcome to my tower. I'd invite you to dinner, but you don't really have a choice. <laughs> oh, Agatha. Good one. <laughs> Delighted to make your acquaintance. Oh, what a sweet little princess. Need to work on your grace, though. Now come. It's time to eat. Hum's face. Hey, hush. What was that? What's everyone feel like for dinner? I'll take savory. Sweet, please. After dinner, Agatha excused herself and told us to get our beauty rest like all good princesses should. The sun was setting, but none of us were sleepy. V suggested we play a game to pass the time. Niece picked out Moral quarrel, a casual social game. V preferred something more competitive, but begrudgingly went along with it. All right, the first step is we answer all the cards in front of us. We must answer honestly or the game won't work. A magical genie offers you one of two very specific wishes. A you can live one life that lasts 1,000 years, or B, you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Which do you choose? Come on with it, this is the easy part. You are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A, tell Charles to leave town and never return, or B, throw your friend in the castle dungeon? Would you rather A, have a pet dragon, or B, be a dragon? I'd want to be a dragon with a pet dragon. Is that weird? Would you rather A, have a tail that never stops loudly tapping against the ground, or B, have noodles for hands? Well, that wouldn't allow you to pick up anything. Dragons have tails. So Would you rather A, constantly reek of syrup and not smell it, or B, constantly smell reeking syrup? I actually like the smell of syrup. Do you still need more to First, we mix up our hands. At the start of our turn, we choose which player we want to try to pair with. We'll then ask the question from the card at the top of our decks. If both asker and askee answer the same way, they both place the card on one of the three spaces between them. Once there are three cards between the two players, they both win the game. If there's not a match between players, the card must be discarded. 
If a player runs out of cards before matching three, they lose. Graham, are you getting all this? Oh, mirror, which one is it? Is it B? Is it niece? Do they like me? Do I like them? What does my breath smell like? Oh, lavender and ooh, eggs. We're inside. Should I take my hat off? What if they don't like capes? That's silly. Everyone loves capes. What if they're allergic to triumph? Please tell me this is my inside voice. What are you thinking about? Oh, nothing. Just in my relaxed box. Ready to begin? Graham, you start. A magical genie offers you one of two very specific wishes. A, you can live one life that lasts 1,000 years. Or B, you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Which do you choose? Hmm, let's see here. A. I agree. I would spend the long life becoming a master at the skills I have. Graham. A rich merchant inadvertently drops one shiny gold coin on the ground. You see a poor, hungry orphan pick it up. Do you A, convince the orphan to be honest and return the coin, or B, turn your head the other way and let the orphan keep the coin? A, I figured their honesty would be rewarded with more than just one shiny gold coin. Nice, I chose A too. The orphan learned a valuable lesson, and would probably be rewarded for their honesty, too. Graham? You have been hunting for your starving family all day, and only managed to catch a small goose. On your way back home, a hungry beggar offers you magic beans in return for the goose. The beggar tells you that the beanstalk sprouted from his beans will lead you to a chest that produces unlimited food. He would go after it himself, but his legs are too tired and old. Do you, A, kindly reject the offer and bring your starving family their dinner? Or B, let the beggar eat the goose and plant the beans in your yard? A. I wouldn't give up a bird in my hand for a wild goose chase. Sorry, B. Magic beans! You are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A. Tell Charles to leave town and never return? Or B. Throw your friend in the castle dungeon. I pick A. I agree. Charles should be banished for the crimes he committed. But I couldn't imprison a friend. Niece? It says, You are the kingdom's wizard doctor. In the middle of the night, an honorable knight and despicable thief arrive at your door. The thief's injuries are much more severe than the knight's. Do you A. Heal the knight first, or B. Heal the thief first. I picked A. The honorable knight served our kingdom well, and he deserves to be healed. I picked B. I would honor my medical oath to serve those in need first. V. Oh, this is pretty on the nose. A man you've never met, but is known as a friendly king sends for your hand in marriage. Do you A, accept his invitation, trusting his reputation, or B, seek love on your own? Is there any other answer than B? Of course, I chose the same. Would you rather A, have a pet dragon, or B, be a dragon? A. Definitely A. Yep, I could use a pet dragon. Our moat monster is looking to retire. V and I won the game. Good thing. She seemed like she didn't like to lose. Niece was satisfied with her pick of the game. When the sun went down, the air turned frigid. We decided it was too cold to play another game and headed to bed. The walls of the tower were pretty thin. 
and embarrassing as it is to admit, that night I overheard the princesses talking about me. So what do you think of King Graham the Compassionate? Funny, he told me he was King Graham the Wise. I knew he was bluffing. This seemed like the perfect time to explore the tower. I was interested in getting to know my new home better. Shame. It looked like the loot cracked in the tumble and was in need of a repair. This puzzle box busted in the fall and could use some fixing. It was cold at the top of that tower. All I knew how to make was chocolate chip pancakes, and I didn't see any chocolate chips. Once upon a time, a beautiful princess locked herself away in a tower and patiently waited for a charming prince to come and rescue her. Oh, I do miss her. The months turned to years, and no prince ever came to whisk her off to a happy ending. Years of appearance-changing potions eventually took their toll and backfired, turning the princess into a soggy hide with a flappy tail. But the potion could be reversed, right? She could lose the tail, and and her skin would change back to normal. I'm afraid not, Gwendolyn. Agatha took it too far. There was no coming back. The witch grew bitter and mad. She began kidnapping princesses in order to increase her chances of being rescued. That seemed to be missing a piece.
Huh, I didn't know I could get myself a trophy. Alright. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Alright. Agatha never left the town, so she would send the princesses on her errands. They would fetch this ingredient or that trinket. She used a special enchantment to poof them out of the tower and after some time, poof, them back in. Why didn't they ever tell anyone they were trapped up there? If they did, the spell would instantly pull them back in. <laughs> Magic is so arbitrary. Los Charcistra. on flashing that ring again. Not gonna make that mistake twice. Uh, how's it going? Oh, my favorite puzzle box is broken. I'm not sure how to fix it yet. Want me to try to fix it? I'll get it. Hey there. What's shaking? I cracked my loot and I don't have the right tool to fix it. Want me to try to fix it? Do you have the tool I need? Uh, nope. Then I'll take care of it. I was stuck. I needed advice. Too bad I couldn't just dot over to the town square. Or could I? This sorcery was very finicky. It would teleport you away from the tower, but only for a limited time. And you needed something from the place you wanted to go to. Oh, the old tournament board. Don't know why I need this, but that's never stopped me before. Oh, the old tournament board. Graham! Amaya! Oh, it's been far too long. Wow. Are you here for a permit? A permit? For what? These concealed weapons? Seriously, my washboard is broken. Can I do my laundry on your abs? I'll think on that. Come on! At least let me sharpen these boots on those calves. Hey, I'd recognize those shiny biscuits anywhere. Are those- What, these? Of course not. He's just a friend. I admit to nothing. I see. I guess Whisper can- Don't say it. Ah, Zards. I tell you to think before you speak, but we all know that's not the Amaya way. Well, the Amaya way is exactly why I'm here today. I need advice on love. It's a long story, and I'll explain later, but I may have met someone. Or someones. How do I know if she is the one? Hold your snoots, Muscles. You came in here to ask me about the mushy stuff? I did. 
On purpose? Mm, trusting my gut landed me in a pretty embarrassing situation. This is... All right. Emotions. Emotions. I can do this. It's like Papa always told me. Marry quick and without care. If they leave you, it won't matter, because, you know, you didn't care about them. Um, not helpful. Fine. Fine. Digging deeper. Oh. Oh. What's this feeling? Weird. Graham, I'm not sure where I dug this up from, and I hope to bury it immediately after we're finished, but can I ask you a question? Fire away. I know most people will give you a gaga head in the clouds response about the ingredients for true love, but have you given any th th thought to what you're willing to put up with? Like what you could learn to love? Oh, you mean like if she's... I've never shied away from a challenge, personality, or otherwise. And also, if she's... Oh, you mean like if she's... She's too critical. Well, I could learn to appreciate the thinking that goes into being critical. Oh, the spell. It's kicking in, pulling me back to the tower. The what? The tower. No time to explain. It's... I'm sorry. Which way is the tower again? <sighs> that way. The tower is that way. Thanks for that. Oh, a, a tool. Do you have a tool I could borrow? For, you know, fixing stuff? Sure. What size are the bolts? Um, uh, the twisty kind? Here, take this old wrench. She's got at least one good fix left in her. Thank you! Ah, King Graham. What have you gotten yourself into? Twinkle Toes! I need you to run! Through your mind? No, not through my mind. Graham needs you. <laughs> no way. I told you no detail would be overlooked. Underneath Manny's mask was a face of a goblin. Nice twist. I already know that. Wow. That was shocking. All right. Giving her the thing. Okay. This might help. It will, actually. Thank you. No problem. Hmm. Hmm. You want to solve this one together? I would love to. Here, you take side one. I'll push it this way. Good move. We got it. Could you play me a melody to help me sleep? How about something with a bow and some strings? Who said violins? Doesn't solve anything. 
<laughs> I was slightly disappointed there was no mention of me that night. Grandpa, boys aren't the only things the girls talk about? <laughs> I learned that lesson long ago. Someone's at the door. Just a moment. Be there in a jiffy. I get that. It's been forever. You're looking. <laughs> Agatha, so nice to see you. Morden, your English is coming along superbly. Well... Thanks for noticing. Care to try me for a spot of tea? <laughs> now, Hagatha, I know better than to set foot inside this tower, but I do appreciate the invitation. You never know. You might like it better in the air. The view is quite nice, and if it ever rains, we'll move. I grew up in a cave, so I'm fine with a small, cold room. With a view of rubble. Speaking of small and cold, please tell him to be careful with this. The message will be received. I'm serious, Maldon. I've spent my life coated in a thin layer of cosmolotion. It's a potion. It's not a panacea. Duly noted. Oh, I almost forgot. He wanted to return this book he borrowed. Said he doesn't need it anymore. Ah, yes. How to tame your dragon. And how is Hornswoggle doing? Hungry as always. Got to know my feeding enchantment is holding up. Good day, Morden. It's always a pleasure. The pleasure has been mine. Fare thee well, Hagatha. One night, Hagatha invited us all to her pretty princess ball. I was nervous and excited. Tonight, we shall have our pretty princess ball. It will be everything we've always dreamed of. <laughs> Faster now! <laughs> 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 Keep it up, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your step, Princess Clam. <laughs> 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 not graceful. That's not a princess move. Oh, yeah. It's turn, turn, twist, not twist, turn. <laughs> 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 <la
看看。